All right, look yeah. right at the camera, big smiles. I wonder if this is gonna be in the shot. Glad we saw that. Welcome to Pop-Up Camper Pro. I'm your host, Eric Smith, and this is my son, Jacob Smith. Today, we're gonna to show you how to rebuild the Direct Drive 3000 series crank assembly. All right, we'll start with the mounting plate, and we'll go ahead and assemble the uh, ratchet paw system that goes here. So, ratchet paw, bolt goes through. Then we have the spacer. Uh, in this orientation, the uh, spacer faces away from us. We we'll put our spring on now. Our spring goes through this top little hole and around the bolt. We can put our ratchet paw on. Ratchet paw goes in this orientation. Flat washer and our 916 nut. Tighten them up, but not too tight. And that feels good. Okay, we already have our shaft bushing uh, installed in this plate. If you need to replace these, uh, they can drive in and out pretty easy, uh, just with basic tools. I like to use a heavy block of wood and a uh, five pound sledgehammer to uh, drive them out and to drive them back in. Installing the drive shaft, pressure plate, aka clutch goes on, ratchet paw gear, and our beveled washer. This washer has a, a flat side and a smooth side beveled on the edge. It uh, faces into this housing in this orientation. We'll roll our paw back, set that in, and our gears on backwards. Flip our ratchet ball gear. Beveled washer, pull back, goes in, and here's that familiar click, click, click. Next hole in the back, we'll go ahead and put the drive hub extension tube on, and then feed our components in. First, we have our spring, our nylon washer. Then our flat washers. And I think they fell in just right. All right, that one made it. That one made it. That did it. And that one made it as well. Five-eighth socket. Drop the nut in. And tighten it down. So in that step, we didn't do Loctite yet. Uh, we only want to Loctite it after we put it on the camper and make sure it's in the sweet spot where half turn compresses, half turn decompresses. Um, after you find that sweet spot, then you want to take the nut out, put a little Loctite on it, and send her back home. Typically, it's as tight as you can get it, and that's what, um, what the um, recommended first step is. But if that doesn't get it, back the nut off a little bit more, try it again until you find that sweet spot. Uh, these are machines, and sometimes they just need to be tinkered with a little bit. On the back, next we have our bearing housing. Next, we'll put our thrust bearing onto our thrust nut. The 3000 series bearing has an open face. It installs in this manner onto the thrust nut. And then this will go to the shaft. And then the second 
for the first pin, pins it to the drive shaft, and this one would pin it to the whiffle tree. Final steps would be to install the lower cover plate. This uh, goes onto the bottom, tech screws going through the side to hold it. And um, installing the handle pin back into the drive hub extension. So it's that easy, folks. I hope you found this was helpful, and please subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Ring that notification bell to be alerted when more content is available. I'll see you all at the campground.